be your probably the most deserving customer this year, I think. Thank well you done. Indeed. Yeah, Thank you. you deserve it. Uh, right, without further ado, uh, don't need any introduction from me. Uh, we're mostly Yorkshire people in here tonight. <laughs> Not only the finest rider in Yorkshire at the minute, but uh, for me, the finest rider on superbikes in the world. Please welcome. Is it ready? <laughs> Tom Sykes. <laughs> What we're going to do, we're going to get cracking and we're going to talk to Tom about what he's doing last year, how it went. Fantastic for me, he couldn't have done a lot better than he did, that close championship finish. And if you've got a question, stick your hand up when you want. Am I? Is this working? Okay, turn it on, you've got to turn it on, lad. Have I got the cheap seat? <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, if I lean this way, we'll be alright. It's motorised, that way. If you start offending, it's going to get it spinning right yeah, around. Got to be pointing towards the wall. It's got a great lean on it. So, if you have got a question for Tom or myself uh, on the off chance, uh, so you can hand up and uh, ask, no problem. Wait till we've got in a little bit. Uh, Tom, uh, last year couldn't have gone any better. Close championship finish. The only surprise for me was the fact that you weren't more upset when you didn't win it by half a point. It must be a fair miss. Yeah, well, I mean. You know, the more I get reminded about it, then obviously... They... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a, a great season. I think the uh, the outset at the beginning was to finish top five. You know, Kawasaki made it very clear, top five, top five, blah, blah. And uh, I thought that was quite that was quite a task when considering uh, 2011. Obviously, there was a big change in the team, personnel, people who I worked with. All of the structure, everything was changed, so um, yeah, we start from scratch and in the first few winter tests we had, we had uh, massive progress, great lap times, finding some consistency and uh, all of a sudden, I, you know, I was hoping that, or thinking that this top five was definitely possible and uh, as the season got underway and uh, the first few rounds were kind of reeled off, it came apparent that... Uh, you know, more is going to be possible, and for me it was great, you know, we, we never got outside of the top top three in the championship and, until, you know, uh, Badovini made a, a fantastic move in Aragon, but uh, apart from that, the season went well, and I was, I don't know, I was just riding with great confidence with, with the people around me, and that was worth a lot. At any point did you think, I can win this? Um, when... Yeah, I think when Biaggi and Melandri started to... Knocking yeah. each other about and making force. They, just, they started like, mucking themselves up and you never did exactly, that. Exactly, yeah. I mean, touch wood, I never, we never had any mistakes uh, last year, apart from, okay, water hose in Assam when I was leading. We had the engine uh, expand. Uh, yeah, they were just started having a little cat fight between themselves and I only had to sit back and, and enjoy <laughs> it and you know, pick up the pieces. It, well, you know, that, that's how championships work. Yeah, but for me, I mean, we, we saw that. It was a surprise to me that both more experienced riders than yourself, and they were the ones that started falling apart like cheap pairs of braces. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it all started from, I, think, I don't know when it was, 2011 when when, uh, when Melandra gave, uh, all, I don't know which way it was, was it Biagi that gave Melandra a little slap. bitch slap? Yeah, yeah. Not <laughs> not <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it was always going to go downhill from there, so uh, <laughs> that was great to watch and uh, only made my life a little bit easier. Thoughts for this next year? Philip Island probably went, well, I don't know, not according to plan, big crash uh, before the race has got underway, you brought your radius bone, I believe, but just to explain what else you did, because we, I shouldn't tell you this, but you all know, we don't actually, most years, go out to Philip Island, me and Jack Bernicle, we, we work from studios in London, it's a long trip, and we go to all the short holes, but we don't go to a lot of the long holes. So I ring Tom, and I ring Leon Aslam, and a few people before the racing starts, and, and uh, you were saying that it's a long season, and you weren't looking at it as just one race, And but you also said you'd only cracked a radius bone, which, to me, yeah, it wasn't displaced, and you were going to get away with it, but you've told me tonight you had a lot more wrong with you. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's a long old season, and going off last year, you know, I don't, touch wood, don't make too many mistakes. I've got a good feeling with with the ZX-10R at the moment, and, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the, the, the first test, I'd only done, well, 
two laps to bed in the set discs, came into pit lane, went back out, and then on my third lap I was only going steady, I, you know, I lost the rear on the uh, off throttle, you know, and landed really awkwardly, it was a strange kind of high side and I, I didn't know where to put myself and I landed on, on the side and obviously I had the wind taken out of my sails and at that point I was sure I wouldn't be riding, you know, the, the following week, which was... Um, when we're being considered one of the championship favourites, which is fantastic position to be in, you know, I was definitely disappointed. But uh, as the week went on, you know, we, the guys made a good call. We missed, we missed the uh, unofficial test and just tested the water in the official test. And uh, yeah, obviously, I came back and had further checks. I was I was struggling. Uh, sleeping at night, you know, I used to enjoy sneezing, I bloody hate it now, but, uh, <laughs> you know, basically it turns out I broke uh, three ribs, so, uh, no, we had, I had the crack in the wrist, uh, I had three broken ribs, and, yeah, just generally beaten up, you know, I, the, the x-ray as well showed that my, my spine wasn't, well, was bending in the places it shouldn't bend, really, so, uh, yeah, I think, we got on okay in that weekend. A lot of people are always quick to say, you know, Kawasaki, Tom Sykes, crap tire life. But fact is, in race two, I set me the uh, fastest lap on the last lap, and you know, riding injured, and also in race two, you know, nobody picked up on it, and obviously you can't. It's um, my tire had spun under under eighty degrees on the rim, so. Uh, I think that's why I'm still struggling to talk tonight, you know. The, that's about as far out of balance as you ever going to get. Oh, Jesus, yeah, I'm, I'm lucky to have my teeth left. But, uh, <laughs> no, I, I struggle on the race. That cost us a good few attempts a lap. And, obviously, we're always on the back foot there. It's a circuit which Melandri loves. So he's always able to do something a little bit special on, on his four-cylinder. Four but apart from that, you know, Ducati's in Aprilia's. It's, uh, it's their circuit. So. How, how good were the Aprilia's out there? Oh, Jesus Christ, uh, Fabrizio passed me and, and almost pulled my leathers off. So, uh, yeah, that's because he's Italian. That's, that's Italian. You like lads, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, never judge a book by He's never frowned upon unless you're not receiving him, then he's just... Yeah. Sorry. Well, we're, we're going into too much detail, yeah. Sorry. It's quite early in the night. So, yeah, no, the, they, they had a good, uh, a good turn of speed, but, yeah, I'm not too concerned at the moment with... I definitely wasn't in best uh, condition. Like I said, I think if that tire hadn't spun on the on the rim, we could have been even better. But uh, you know, I'm a big believer on things happen for a reason, and sometimes a rocky start you can always uh, you know improve on that. I've seen it happen in the past, so that's what I'm hoping, and uh, we'll move on and we'll have our circuits to shine. Are you are you starting to think about the championship as a whole already instead of race to race? Because that's what it seems. I already talked to you before for the pints. Look, long season. I don't make that many mistakes. I love the bike. The bike's going to be good at a lot of places, and I'm thinking about a championship. Yeah, well, I think I think I've got to do, you know, because uh, it's a bit. Last year was uh, top five. It's been drummed into me that uh, this this year things have to be a little bit better. So uh, yeah, you know, obviously just a touch of pressure, and then you've got people like yourself saying last year was only half a point. So it just shows that all points matter, and uh, you know, all things considered laying in the gravel and then coming away fourth in the championship, again, I'd have taken it. Yeah, you know, I knew those Aprilias were a little bit special at, uh, at Phillip Island, and you've only got to look how much a circuit suits the V configuration, because Checker, I mean, he's unbelievable. Uh, it's always been a Ducati circuit. Yeah, he's yeah, an unbelievable yeah. talent, and the Penegal has been nowhere. Put it on put it on uh, Phillip Island, and he's there. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Take it as it comes, but no, 28 more races, that's, uh, you know, I mean, obviously I'm not too uh, up to speed on maths, but it's a lot of points. <laughs> <laughs> you got an old level, didn't you? Have a I chuffed. Old level in what? <laughs> woodwork, are you? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it depends what your class as woodwork. <laughs> Who do you see as your main rivals? Notwithstanding the fact that the Aprilia's were quick at Phillip Island, who do you see as the people you're going to be battling with? Now, overall, it's uh, Melandri's first part of call. And then, obviously, you know, Eugene always comes across quite confident and he's got the bike that potentially won, well, won the championship last year, so him and Gintoli are going to be strong because Gintoli's a, 
a good ride as well. So, uh, no, I don't know. Everyone's got circuits where they can be strong. But normally how I try to do it is focus on my own issues and, yeah. and try and go faster than, you know, just say, I normally try and base myself on myself and uh, it seemed to work last year. So let's see what we can do this year. Do you think from what happened last year, do you think people see you as uh, a strong contender because you're consistent, because you don't make any mistakes? Because that's what we heard coming back. Even places where you weren't possibly going to be the quickest, which weren't that many, you were quick everywhere. But we kind of still knew that you were going to get some kind of result out of it because you were going to be on the back of the end. Yeah, I mean, well, thanks for that. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I normally, the thing is now, I'm that happy with the people around me. You know, the the realistic and, you know, it's nice that if you crash your bike, they don't blame you. Yeah, they don't blame you. Because, you don't crash that often. That well, part. and as well, you know, it's not like I want to jump off the bloody thing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean... You know, it makes me laugh when riders always get told don't go out and crash. Oh yeah, cheers, because I want to jump off and hit the wall anyway. So no, I always don't like to see that, you know, when, even when youngsters are trying to get taught by somebody. But no, I always go, and I think that I've got a good enough standing for a motorbike to try and go to the limit and not cross it. Last year it worked. Obviously I was caught out in Phillip Island, you know, it wasn't a, uh, something that I'd done wrong on the bike, if you like. Sounds silly, but you know when you look at the data, it's I was off throttle, not a lot of lean angle. It was very strange, but uh, yeah, normally if I can stay on board, we should be there or thereabouts. You know, this in the last couple of years, Kawasaki and the team have done a great job, and uh, we've made good progress, and we're now in the ballpark to to fight most weekends at the sharp end, which is a fantastic feel. Did does it feel good to be with a team that you've brought all the success to? Does it feel to bring the team through and make the bike look, and the team look like a winning team when nobody else has done that bike for a long time? Yeah, I, I kind of like that in a way, you know. And again, I always try and keep myself to myself, but it is nice as well when you are a bit of an underdog and, you know, the team was new to it and all of a sudden, you know, we had a lot of headlines from pole positions, circuit records and pre-season testing and then also the the race wins and it was strange you know because a lot of people said that I wasn't let's say a consistent or a championship contender I hadn't won many races but you know I'd won four races which is one less than BRG and I think uh, that isn't too bad it's uh, it was more than a lot of other riders and then also I had more podiums than than the other riders again I you know I don't you know, shout about it, but uh, it is frustrating when, when people say that you're not consistent and blah, 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 and okay, we have struggled with tire life, and it's one of those people blame me, but, you know, it's it's, it's not me, um, people say I ride, ride aggressively, but again, I might look aggressive on the bike, but I've had to ride physically to make the bike do what it has to do, and I'm now being able to, to be smoother, because I don't have to jump over the bike to get it to go left and right. So, uh, yeah, it's been hard work and certainly now it's a lot easier to, um, to manage. What's made the difference with the tyre? 